Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to do another video on anatomy and it's going to form part of my anatomy series that I'll have on my channel. Um, and we're, today we're going to talk about this bone here which is the pedal bone or the coffin bone or how it's correctly called the distal phalanx um, or P3. So this bone is found with inside the hoof capsule and it's completely encased with inside the hoof capsule and it actually dictates the shape of your horse's foot. So, and we, it's made up of three surfaces, the parietal surface, solar surface, and the articular surface here. Now the parietal surface is where we'd find our sensitive lamini. Now the sensitive lamini is what attaches the hoof wall and the, um, the pedal bone to each other and suspends the entire horse's skeleton up off the ground. Uh, it's this interdigitation between the sensitive and the insensitive lamini, but we'll do that on another video, so don't worry about that today. Um, but yeah, that's what our parietal surface is for. The solar surface is where we would find our solar corium, which produces our soul, and this is this area here. We can also see our semilunar line, which is here, or the semilunar crescent, and it's where we have the attachment of the deep digital flexor tendon as it comes down the back of the leg, under this joint, the coffin joint, and attaches just here. Um, just above here you can see two little holes. Now these two little holes are where the medial and lateral digital arteries would come down the back of the leg, under the joint also, and into these two little holes where they would form the terminal arch. Now from that terminal arch you'll have a lot of little blood vessels that would come out, little capillaries, and you can see that would come through all these little foramen around the bone, and they would supply that parietal surface where the sensitive lamini would be. So it's very highly vascular bone um, with all this blood coming through the front to supply this strong bond between the hoof, hoof wall and the bone itself. Okay, so that's the parietal surface and our solar surface. The last of the three would be our articular surface, which is just here. It's nice and smooth, reduced friction, um, and it would articulate with the short paston or the middle phalanx but it also forms a compound joint, which is a, or a complex joint, which is a joint that's made up of three bones, and we have our little navicular bone also. And the navicular bone, I'll do on another video, uh, as it's quite a, an important little bone, and that would sit just under this here, and that would form our coffin joint. Okay, so that's the three services. We also have three borders. We have a solar border, which runs around this distal edge here, and that separates the parietal surface from the solar surface. We have our palmar border, which separates the solar surface from the articular surface. And then we have, that runs around the top here, we have our coronary border, where the coronary band would be. And that separates the articular surface from the parietal surface. So there are three surfaces and our three borders. Now, if I just hold this here, we have a, we have a medial and lateral wings, or probably best to hold it there. So we have medial and lateral wings of the pedal bone, and these are called our palmar processes. So our medial and lateral palmar process, and it's actually split into an upper and a lower. This is, it looks like it's a, from a young horse, this bone. So we don't really have a definitive line that separates the upper from the lower palmar process. But it is there, and it's separated by the parietal notch, which you can see just here and here, and the parietal groove which runs towards the dorsal aspect of this bone. Now this would, um, this would protect the, um, the dorsal distal phalangeal artery or the branch of the dorsal distal phalangeal artery as it came around the front to provide the, uh, the, the lamini or the laminal corium with a blood supply. So that is what the, the, the notch would do. It would protect that artery as it come around the front um, and, and, and supply that area. Just above this on the upper palmar process we have the um, we have the proximal border for the location or for the attachment of the uh, collateral cartilage and then if you go a little bit further up we also have a little pit for the attachment of the collateral ligaments uh, the collateral ligaments stabilize the coffin joint and um, allow the, the foot to flex and extend okay uh, what else? so as we come to the top here we have our extensor process. Now this is where the common digital extensor tendon comes down the back of the front of the leg and attaches, forms a nice broad attachment on the tip of this extensor process here. Okay, so that's the pedal bone. 
Um, the, the three services, the three borders, and the, the common digital extensor process. We've talked about the, um, the protection of, and the passageway of the, um, the distal dorsal phalangeal artery, the terminal arch formed inside the bone, and just one more thing, the, the dorsal distal phalangeal artery bifurcates and forms an abaxial branch. Now this abaxial branch comes around the front tip, right around the tip of this pedal bone and forms the circumflex artery. And the circumflex artery has little branches that all communicate with this dorsal aspect of that distal phalangeal artery. So you have two arteries here. See, so, so this, the foot has such a huge blood supply. Um, it forms a huge part of the hydrostatic function and the shock absorption mechanism of the foot. And um, later when we, we bisect an actual hoof capsule, we'll, we will identify all these structures. So, um, so do check back for another video, um, but that is our video today on the distal phalanx or the coffin bone. Okay guys, so that was the pedal bone today. Um, make sure you check back for all videos on all these different structures, P1, P2, the navicular bone, a very important bone, a very interesting bone, so be sure to check that video out. Uh, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you on the next video. Take care guys.